Okay, in this recording we want to find the indefinite integral of the function square root x plus 1 over square root x times the quantity x cubed minus the square root of x. Alright, so first thing that we want to do is to rewrite those radical signs as fractional exponents. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to integrate um, using the power rule in reverse if we have uh, those uh, rational exponents or fractional exponents instead of the root signs. So I just went in and changed uh, square root x to x to the one half, one over, well in three places basically there, and one over square root x is one over x to the one half, and then here again square root x is x to the one half. Uh, so next thing is that uh, I've got 1 over x to the 1 half. I'd like to rewrite that as x to some number power. And I can do that by putting that, moving that factor up to the top and making the exponent negative. So the next change that I would make is rewriting 1 over x to the 1 half as x to the minus 1 half. Okay. So now... I've got the product of of these two things here, which I don't, again, I don't really want that when I'm taking an antiderivative um, because, right, derivatives, if you take the derivative of the product of two functions, you have to use the product rule. So uh, going in reverse will be a lot more complicated than if I just went and multiplied all this stuff out. If I multiply all this stuff out, then I will have a sum and difference of x to number powers. And so um, derivatives and antiderivatives work very well with adding and subtracting because you can just find the antiderivative of each piece and add or subtract those together. So, so the next step here would be to FOIL this out. So when I go to FOIL it out, I have first times first is x to the one-half times x to the third, right? And so if I multiply like bases, I would add the exponents. Uh, uh, together. So 3 plus a half is 3 and a half, which as an improper fraction is 7 halves. The next I would do outer times outer, right? And that's going to be x to the 1 half times minus 1, x to the 1 half. And again, I multiplying like bases, so I add the exponents. Half plus a half gives me 1 there. Next, inner, right, I multiply x to the minus one-half times x to the third. And again, multiplying like bases, so I add the exponents. Negative one-half plus three is two-and-a-half, which is five-halves, if you write that as an improper fraction. And then finally, it's last times last. I have x to the minus one-half times minus one x to the one-half. So the answer will be minus one there, right? And it's going to be one because... I will have x to the minus one half times x to the one half, all right? Minus one half plus one half is zero, right? And x to the zero would wind up to be one there. So now I'm in a lot better situation to find the antiderivative because I have a difference and sum of functions here, and I just find the antiderivative of each individual piece. I couldn't do that before because I had a product. I couldn't just take the antiderivative here and the antiderivative here um, because derivatives don't work that way, much less antiderivatives. So, okay, so now I'm ready to take the antiderivative here. So, on this guy, I have x to the seventh halves, which is x to some number power. So, just use the reverse power rule. I add one to the power right, to get 9 halves, and then I would divide by 9 halves, and uh, to avoid the complex fraction, I just do the equivalent thing of um, f inverting and multiplying. So flip 9 halves over to get 2 ninths and change that to multiplication. On here, I have x, right, so I add 1 to the power to get um, 2, and then I divide by the new power, so you can have x squared over 2, or equivalently, one-half times x squared. On this one I have x to the five-halves power, so I add one to get seven-halves. 
And then dividing by 7 halves is the same as multiplying times 2 sevenths. And then uh, the antiderivative of 1 is just x. And then put a plus c, and that would be the most general antiderivative of the, uh, the uh, function that was given.